Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. So this is just going to be like my first setup video with the Odroid XU4Q. This isn't a first impressions video. It's not a review or anything. It's not a how-to. It's just all I've done so far is flash this RetroPie image to the system to a, I'm actually a, a micro SD card. Uh, toss my games on it. Toss my BIOS files on it. Uh, and I think that's all I've done. So this is kind of like a first startup kind of thing just to see what this is all about so far i'm really impressed i really like this theme here um what is it called actually if i hit start i can go to the main menu and tell you real quick uh showcase this theme is called showcase let's take a look at the other themes real quick i'll actually go over some other themes in different uh videos i think i liked carbon I want to say I like carbon. Yeah, carbon looks nice too. Uh, but it's got all the systems neatly laid out. It says how many games you have available for each system. Cody, I don't know what that is. Someone tried to explain that to me like it's a streaming thing. I don't know. I have no idea. I like the tune playing in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. Not too bad. I'm going to switch back to the other UI real quick. Showcase. There we go. And I just like this one because it just looks a little bit better. It's got the picture of the console. It's got that nice art in the middle. But yeah, all these systems, I put a bunch of games on here. Let's look at a couple. How about N64? That didn't run too well on the other systems. What's one that's pretty well known? Something cool is that you can hold, you know, you're pushing the button, push the button, trying to get through these games. Or you can hold it and it'll speed up. Then it'll speed up more. And I think it'll do it. It'll super speed up. Or I think you can hit select and just jump to whatever letter you want. That's cool. Again, I don't want to go into 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 too much detail on this stuff. I'm going to do that in a later video. This is just, you know, I guess you can say it's first impressions. I can spoil it for right now and tell you that I'm really happy with this thing. I know when you start a game up, if you hit the A button continuously, it goes into that games configuration, which is really cool. You can set resolution uh, sizes and stuff like that. Yoshi's Story was always a problem that gave me issues on any system I tried it for. I don't think I could play it on uh, any of the classic systems. PlayStation, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, none of them. Um, oh, also, I forgot to tell you, I'm using a PS3 controller uh, because I wanted to use the analogs. And when you first start the system up, you plug it in your controller. It asks you to configure every single button, including the analog sticks, which is really nice. Again, I'm getting into too much detail. I need to hold off. Can you tell? I'm a little excited here. All right, so this looks like it's running great. I'm very, very impressed because this is doesn't seem to be an easy game for me to run. Forget how to do all this stuff. Oh, okay. Wait, is it? And then, all right. Eat some f oh, fun facts. Don't need the fun facts right now, Yoshi. So far, there's no slowdown, no nothing. I'm able to get by. Oh, I can't. Oh, this is the thing. Yeah, knock him down. Get around here. I'm happy I can play this now. And don't judge me on the type of game I like. All right, so if I hit start and the PlayStation button together, it takes me back to the menu. So that's cool. Let's take a look at a more graphical uh, intensive game. We're going to go to Diddy Kong's Racing because I don't remember if I changed anything... Ah, crap. I don't remember if I changed anything resolution-wise. So Diddy Kong Racing. I'm going to keep mashing A. Hopefully I get in that configuration menu. Hey, we made it. Oh, we're too far back. Too far back. All right. So it looks like we select some emulators. All right, so you can select the resolution here. Um, not really sure what to put it on. 1280 by 720? Will that stick? Well, let's see. Let's see how this looks and how it runs. This looks super good. Wow. Okay. I kind of like pick and conquer. That's not the same conquer we're all thinking about. Or it might be. But, um, you know. Oh, wait. No, I didn't want to go here. How do I back up? There we go. Let's just do a quick track selection. Ancient Lake. We will race. We don't need a time trial. Okay. This looks really good. I don't feel any slowdown. Well, let's get into the game first before we say that. This looks so nice. Look how nice this game looks. And it's running fine. I mean, I didn't put a, 
a counter on or anything like a FPS counter, but I don't feel like this is behaving weird at all. How do I shoot this thing? There it is. Oh, dinosaur. Hit him in the tail. And there's some more guys. Banjo, my buddy. Or no, wait, he's not my buddy. Maybe he is. I don't know. And some turtle. Can you hop? I can, I can honk. I can honk that horn. Look how nice it looks. I, I am like really impressed with this thing. And it's running fine. I can't stop saying that. Right, let's look at some other stuff. Did I put any DS games on here? I did. I was having some weird stuff though with the DS emulator. With the uh, analog stuff, I can get into the options. Um, but then I can't move and I that's probably on me. Maybe um, I can move the left stick and that moves this uh, The right stick if I push to the right it goes into the menu But then I, I don't I can't control anything in the menu that kind of sucks because I'd rather play my DS games with the screen side by side not up and down unless I have to and again that just it could be because I didn't configure things right Keep moving. How about PSP games? Um, let's see, Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins. That's kind of a hard one to run, I think. I played the older versions, but not the PSP version. So let's take a quick look. New game, standard mode. There's Arthur doing his thing. Okay, that's a cool looking map. I like that. Time to go. Oh, that's weird. I wasn't expecting this. It's running kind of funky. Running real funky. I think something, uh, something, huh. Something's up with this game. Anyway, moving on. Let's try some PlayStation stuff. Driver, Jet Moto, kind of funky looking text there. Uh, Silent Hill. Oh, do I look at Silent Hill yet? I don't think I checked out Silent Hill. There are violent and disturbing images in this game. There are. Konami. Okay, launching the game at uh, 1280 by 720 p again. Let's see how it looks. So far, I can't really tell. I think I can. Oh, it looks a little smoother. Dark games don't work good with bright lights in your face. Oh, yeah, that looks a lot better. Wow. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Harry's looking good. Look how smooth, smooth and nice footsteps, but from who and from where? Around the corner, apparently. Oh, it's a little girl. It's apparently Cheryl. I want to hear the sound. Sounds good. Sometimes when you raise the resolution, the sound skips in this game, uh, but it sounded pretty good there. Can I, I can pause, no menu. Oh, never mind. there's a menu. We have a whole lot of nothing. So I wanna check some other games out. How about Jet Moto? Let's see how Jet Moto looks. Where's my man? Where's he at? Masala, right there, number one. Let's do a single race. We'll do the first race. That's a nice track on the beach, the broken highway. What a cool idea for a race track. I don't know. Where's the game? What's going? Oh, there it is. X to continue. Ooh, that's smooth. Nice. There everybody goes, cause we are slow and steady, Masala. He doesn't, you know, go with everybody else, but he'll knock you off your bike real good. He's very strong. I like the butterfinger. Yeah, this is looking really nice. Whip around this corner, not very good. I guess we can turbo. Knocking dudes out. That's what we do. That's Masala's way of racing. You can do tricks too. Like that. Look at that fancy trick. There we go. Nailed it. Oh, we got an applause. Thank you for that. This seems to be running really good, and it looks awesome. This looks awesome. Let's take a look at Thrill Kill again. I wonder if this will even run. I didn't test this, so this may be a bad idea. 
It should run. I think it'll run. Maybe. Got something. We going? We're doing this? We throw Q I uh, we're going to agree that this is a messed up game cuz it is. Well, it's violent. I wouldn't call it messed up. It's got some stuff in it though. Of course, you know we have to be Dr. Faustus. Who are we going against? Belladonna? Tormentor and Violent. Co-op. Or no wait, co-ed, sorry. Boys and girls. Enjoy your time. <clears throat> Getting some kind of flickery stuff over there. See how the game looks. Game looks nice. Look at that picture over there. That's weird. Anyway, where's the good doctor? Oh uh oh. Yeah, see? There's some stuff. Oh boy, things are not looking good for Dr. Faustus. Maybe, there we go. Oh yeah, nice. Looking good. Game looks really nice. But a quick session of Driver. Real quick. Super quick. Have you heard the greatest title song music ever? No? Well, now you have. Not yet. That was bad timing. I mean, wait, hold on. I can't play the whole thing, because that's going to take too long. Uh, so we're just going to take a ride. Stay in Miami. And daytime. Always daytime. I hate night driving. I hate it. I hate it. See how we look? We are looking good. Holy crap. Does this game look nice? We're going to burn out. In celebration of looking awesome, look at this. Honking my horn. Not doing nothing with that button. Looking, I think, can't I? I can. I can look to the side. Oh, my other one's not working. That's, I think, my controller. My controller kind of is janky. It's an old controller. It's PS3. But look at everything. It's so crisp. It's like it's... Well, I mean, it is. It's upscaled. But, I mean, it's looking nice. Excuse me, everybody. I don't obey the rules of the road. I go where I want. Where's a cop? I want to have a little bit of... Oh, he's over there. Oh, excuse me. Look at all the palm trees. This is pretty much Florida. Buildings popping in and everything. That's Florida. You just be driving and all of a sudden, hey, look, there's a freaking building right in front of you. Now, what we do have in Florida is people running stoplights. That is something we have a lot, at least in my area. Safety first. Here's a cop. Oh, he found me. How did that happen? Oh, got me in my rear. Any other cops going to be coming and helping you out? I've only got a little bit of felony. I wonder if I can make that. No, I can't. And, alright. Made it. Made it this way, though. Wow, low sound effects. We're still doing fine, though. And we still look nice. That's what's important. Going a little this way. Oh, probably could have made that a little bit better. So we'll leave Saturn alone for right now. Um, I don't think I put anything else on here. Oh, I should have put a Dreamcast game on here. I did not. Mm. Yeah, so far, um, I'm extremely impressed with this little uh, sucker, Amiga. No, we're not doing that. Mm -mm. It plays games wonderfully, and it plays them where they look a lot better than the original systems. You know, you can raise the resolution. It looks really good. And like I said, all I did was toss games, toss BIOS on here. That's it. I haven't installed new themes, nothing. All I did was install RetroPie, which runs Emulation Station. Um, that's what I have running on it right now. So there's a lot more stuff I want to look at, a lot of things I want to tweak on here. I don't know what this is. I can play Zork. Is that a computer? Infocom? Probably a computer. I got 7,000 games on here. Oh, and putting stuff on here is so easy. I can't wait to go over that part with you. It is so incredibly easy to put everything on here. Stupid easy. After watching a video on how to do this, it took me five minutes, ten minutes to set this up. So easy, and because of the hardware on this thing, they play amazing. And you can use what controllers you want on it too, as long as it's a USB controller. You know, I'm using my PS3 controller right now, and everything works. The analog six, everything. No weird configuration needed to be done, except for the DS thing, but I think that's more on me. So I gotta look into that a little bit more. But yeah, if you wanna call this a first impression, it's okay. My first impression, more like a first setup, because I haven't done everything I want yet, but I'm extremely impressed with this. I am so happy. Um, I think I'm going to use this 
to do a lot of my videos like the gameplay type stuff like let's plays and things like that i'm probably going to be using this just because of how well it handles and how great everything looks with it i mean everything not just the games but the, this theme right here and there's there's themes there's really cool themes i've been looking at a lot of themes and they are really really cool looking so make sure you keep coming back i'm going to be addressing a lot more things with the odroid xu4q such as theme installs how to install games how to install bios files if there's anything that you guys want to see leave me a comment and i'll try and touch on that once i learn how to do it myself but there you go that was the uh xdroid 4q super impressed extremely uh thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time